We've owned our Mario Capasa sectional from Value Furniture for exactly 12 months now, so here's a one year update to hopefully help you make the right decision if you're considering purchasing it as well. In this video, I will go over our experience purchasing it, the quality of the sectional and the fabric, the new legs we installed on it to make it taller, the new fabric covers we received, and finally, let you know if we personally recommend getting it. If you enjoy videos about minimalism, purposeful living, and reviews of quality home products, please consider subscribing to this channel. When we received our sectional, we immediately loved the look of it and the size was exactly what we were hoping for, but we did notice that the fabric and the cushions were not as comfortable as we hoped. The main reason we went with the Mario Capasa sectional was because you can remove and wash everything which was a huge selling point for us since we have two kids at home. While we are extremely careful with it and never allow any food while on the couch, it's still a white cover so it gets dirty regardless. We've washed the cushion covers three times total since we got the sofa and unfortunately we noticed that the fabric got mildly ruined after the very first time we washed them. As you can see they developed these bumps that make the fabric look really old and damaged. I reached out to Value and they recommended steaming the fabric which we tried on one of the small pillows and it made it so much worse. Value Furniture offers a 12 month limited warranty and we told them again about our issue and they said they couldn't do anything about it. We kept bugging them since we were so frustrated with the quality and after talking to multiple people we were able to finally get them to send us new replacement covers for our sectional which I'll show you later on this video. Funny enough, right around the 11th month mark one of our couch legs completely broke. We don't have many people over and we're extremely careful with our sectional so we were pretty confused as to how this could have happened. I emailed customer service about it and they were really helpful and had a repair person come over within a week to add more support to our sofa and repair the broken parts. Since we were getting closer to our warranty being over, we decided to just go ahead and change the legs to make our sectional a little bit taller. While we loved the low profile at first, the cushions got really flat and are not as supportive anymore so we were having a hard time getting up and down from it. The couch comes with legs made out of spray painted wood planks that are nothing special. We tested some natural 6 inch wood legs first but since there is not a lot of solid wood on the frame we weren't able to safely install any of them. Instead we went with 5 inch metal legs that offers multiple areas to screw them on and this ended up being the perfect solution. This is a really large sectional and surprisingly there were not any additional support legs anywhere other than just in each corner. We did add a few extra legs for the long pieces like the chase to make sure it was supported correctly, especially since the frame doesn't seem as solid as we would have liked and we were afraid that it would snap on us after a while. If you do go with this option, just know that you'll have to move the clasps that connect the sectional pieces together as well. These new legs completely changed the look of our sectional and made us love it all over again. We highly recommend adding your own legs if you're considering it. Plus our robot vacuum can now fit under it and keep everything clean. By far one of the most common comments we received on our original review video is that many people are experiencing delays with delivery times and just a lack of communication when it comes to any updates. We honestly can't personally speak to that because although we never received clear updates on our delivery, we received our sectional exactly one month after purchasing it online. The new covers did take almost two months to arrive but I believe that had more to do with product availability and warehouse issues. We chose our beige linen fabric for our replacement covers since we thought it might be better to try a different material than the one it came with so it wouldn't get ruined again. Changing the covers is pretty straightforward, it just takes a lot of time and patience. The entire sofa is covered with this material that sticks to velcro, so adding the new covers that go in the actual frame can be a little frustrating because the velcro gets constantly stuck everywhere. It's not hard at all, just know that it takes some time to do it. After changing the covers, we notice a huge quality difference. The linen is very cool to the touch and so much more comfortable than the original fabric. It is a little darker, but it turns out that it's not washable, so I guess it's better that it is not as light in color. With that said, do we recommend this sectional? Yes and no. If the look of the Mario Capasa style is what you really want, then go for it. Just know that it's a lot of work to keep it fluffed all the time, the cushions do wear down and lose their fluffiness, and you will have feathers everywhere for the first year, especially when you change the covers. We don't regret getting it because it fits our space perfectly and it's the size and look we wanted. 
However, if we could go back, I think we might do a little bit more research and go with a company like Joybird or Article, which have similar styles and prices, but seems to make things a little more solid and better quality. We honestly don't think this sectional will last longer than six years tops, which is frustrating because it's not necessarily cheap, but I'll keep you guys updated. I know there's a lot to unpack in this video, so please let me know if you have any additional questions or if I missed something. As always, I hope this video was helpful and make sure you click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.